So in the last video, we looked at the data set, uh, the dot data section, which, uh, as we saw, allows us to define variables and initialize them to some values using uh, also specifying the um, data size of for that particular variable. For example, we've seen how we can um, define and initialize uh, bytes, uh, multiple bytes or array of bytes, array, for example, of quad words, how we can define um, words, quad words, all these sort of things. Now we're going to see how we can uh, allocate memory for uh, variables that have not been uh, initialized yet using the .vss section. And in the .vss section, the uh, syntax is pretty much the same. The only difference is that you're going, you're going to um, uh, replace the, um, uh, for example, the uh, the w, the b, the q, the d, um, or for example, the dq with um, res w, res b, res d, res q, and res, d, and res uh, q. And in the second difference is, of course, that you will not have to include a value afterwards. You will just need to specify how much of that data uh, size, uh, of the data storage type, you want to uh, allocate. So, for example, let's suppose that we want to, I don't know, store uh, an array of bytes I actually, actually allocate the memory for an array of bytes, and let's suppose that we want to allocate 22 bytes. So I'm going to say byte array, then we're going to say press B, because that means this is the keyword for saying reserve bytes. Reserve bytes, uh, we said 23, so we're going to say, and this basically, and this allocates a uh, space for an array of 23 bytes. So this allocates space for 23 bytes in memory. If you wanted, for example, to allocate uh, for an array of words, then we could say um, rest w, and let's say that we want to, um, for example, prepare for 41, the size for 41 words. Then we can also, of course, using rest d, rest q, rest dq, um, allocate space for an array of uh, double words, double words array, rest uh, d, um, and for example, 23, then um, quad words array, and then rescue 50, something like that. And then you can also, of course, uh, double quad words array res dq 77, something like that. You can, uh, this, this is basically the syntax with which you can allocate space for a specific uh, data storage type. And also, of course, keeping in mind that a string is nothing but a, uh, an array of, of, of bytes, uh, so because a byte represents a ASCII character, if you come from C, for example, from the C programming language, you should already be familiar with this, uh, with this concept. Uh, then we can, for example, suppose that in a program, it will happen very often that we, may, for example, want to allocate a space, for example, for a string, for a buffer, or something like that. Uh, then what we will see, what we will say is, we will say, for example, string plus bytes, and then the length of the string, such as 90, for example, in this case. And so this is. Um, and so with this really, since it's, the syntax is very similar to the dot .data section, we have really covered the basics of the .dss section. For this reason, we will now move on to this uh, .text section. So in this video, we won't cover a lot of the .data section, also because of the .text section, also because the .text section is the section where we will write our code. And in order to write our code, we need a lot of uh, more, uh, I can say, advanced ideas that we haven't introduced yet, such as uh, system calls and uh, also how to work with registers. We have not talked about any of this yet, uh, but just know that in the data section, if we use, this is a little bit more advanced than a simple introduction to assembly, but this really depends on how this, the system language that you're using to assemble your program uh, works. So if you're using the standard system language, which in this case we are doing, uh, we're doing so. Um, when we start the dot text section, uh, we want to start with a global uh, underscore start and then start like this. So, so the start here that you see is known as a label in assembly, and we will see that in assembly labels are very important, and we will also introduce how to write other labels that we can use inside our program. And uh, you might ask, well, why do we need this uh, global start, global underscore start, and then this start here? Well, that's for the linker, as I uh, mentioned before. The reason, specific reason why this is the case, uh, we'll probably cover, if we ever cover how the linking system works more in depth, uh, but for now, just know that in the section that, in the dot text section of your program, you need to include these two lines of code. And now also know that the actual code 
will uh, go inside, will go below this uh, underscore start uh, label. So with this said, we have said enough about the general structure of a assembly program. And in the next video, we will start introducing a little, we'll start actually writing some, some functioning assembly code, starting, for example, to work with registers and so on.